Hello ladybugs and um, this tutorial is a tag along with me and um, this is we're going to make something similar to this this idea I actually got off uh, Pinterest and I thought it was beautiful and I made the tag to go inside as well <coughs> from matte paper and on the back I put this paper so it can be journaled on then there's a little pocket here as well with just tickets and as you can see the buttons this is a chipboard thing and we have you know safety pin with some beading on there here I did do some using again my gorgeous waxes and I did do a little bit of molding um, but anyway, it didn't work out quite nice, but it's still left, I, you probably can't see it, but it's still left an impression there, which, you know, I quite like. So, I have various materials here, as you can see. Ribbon. I have this fabric that's got like a goldy, velvety embossed on it, and yeah, just various fabrics, some pleather or faux leather, and yeah, and some hessian, which I love and this because hessian was used on here so we'll, we'll make something similar now I cut these tags out on my Cricut um, you can order different size tags from me as well guys if you want and different sizes too so what I've done I've already um, glued some different fat, uh, paper onto it this is from my kit you know the color the pinky one because I was running out of ink it came out sort of pink instead of brown so I've used it on these two tags so I'm going to put in and look at this I think this fabric goes beautifully with this so let's put that there let's use this here um, I haven't distressed the edges yet on this so of course I'm going to put some more ink in here hmm or maybe I need to pick a darker color that's fine and then I roughed up the edges using my tool just checking out to see if I did it on both sides and I only really did it oopsie Hey, on the one side make it nice and rough and I do have my espresso this is ground espresso which is a dark color what's the matter with this thing oh it's dry very dry that's why it's not Toss that one aside, I don't like it. Yeah, I think that's better. Now the color shows up more. So this one's got more of an industrial feel to it. And of course, I've used cardstock. You can use whatever you have in your... I just happen to have it. So what I'm going to do, my glue gun is hot. Now I used another piece of paper to make the first pocket so I have this come come now let's behave ourselves so I'm just going to do my little measuring you know how I measure I like so and that will be fine so let me just cut that quickly on my Cutter. Hang on, let's take this piece off. Yeah. You can also tear it if you want. There's no rule that says you have to cut it. I think that's perfect. Almost perfect. It'll do. It'll do. 
So now I'm just going to do like so. Once again, I'm going to I'm using the uh, no man, this is the espresso one. <laughs> So I'm going to use my thin one. To just glue the sides. There we go. <clears throat> So <clears throat> you can see it, I cut it a little bit short, so I'm going to make sure that the end goes nicely on this side. Uh oh, yep. <laughs> I will get this straight. Yeah, I will. Oh my goodness. I want this side straight because you're going to see this side. This side doesn't matter because it's going to be covered with fabric. Uh, okay, so that's all right. Quite like that. And then, um, what else did I do on here? I just put another little strip there for interest. So why not use just a bit of scrap again that I've got lying around. Yep, that'll do. So we will glue it. Just find the thing on here. Using the lighter one, uh, the walnut stain. And then I am going to put, I'm not going to make this black, I'm just going to put a piece of fabric, sort of cut like that. Yeah. Put it a bit higher. My pincer scissors have gone blunt. I mean, how do you sharpen this? And I've only ever used it on fabric. And now, like I said, it is blunt. Doesn't always cut very nicely. And then I'm just going to, actually easier to do it this way. Yep. Now it's cutting nicely. Earlier I was cutting something else and it was like not good. So let's just make it at an angle here. And that is fine. That'll do. I'm going to raise it a little bit, I think. Yeah. Just a nice thin line of glue. This actually does form another pocket which you can put a tag in there as well. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down here. Yeah, that's fine. Because if you look at this one, let me show you. See, that's a tag there. I mean a pocket there and there. So it's actually two little pockets. Now I'm going to cut a piece of hessian to make another pocket. I'm going to put it, yeah, that'll do. This time I'm just going to use my ordinary fabric scissors. Snip, 
snap, snap, snap. And we are done. To form another pocket. I think I'm going to actually do it this way. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to cut a little bit off here. Yep. Well, that will do. Stick it down. Another pocket. There we go. And then, of course, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going to put something on top there. Which I should have done before I glued it on here. I always do things backwards when I'm filming. <laughs> going to use this fabric, just a small piece, I want a little bit more of the hessian to show, yeah that can go here. I'm just going to very gently put it on top because I don't want it to go all the way through. But even if it does, you can unstick it. See? That's absolutely fine. Uh, I want this down. I'm not going to take it off. I quite like it, you know, hanging around, doing nothing. Yeah. I do like it. So I'm just going to glue it uh, just a tiny bit of glue, you know? Yeah. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Just a little bit of glue. Just enough to stick it down so it doesn't go AWOL. Now, um, the only thing I don't like about this is the hole is it's too far down, I find. So, what I do to fix that, if I can just find my punch, I've got, I bought a little punch, oh yeah, where is it? Here it is, I bought this tiny punch, this is how I make my reinforcements for that. So let's take, I'm going to use, hang on a sec. I've got this lying around, so this is how I do my little reinforcements. I'm just going to do a few. I don't know what size this is, it actually doesn't tell me what size hole that is. So I glue this on here. on the back. Then I'm going to glue another one on the front but this time I want the hole to go. So that goes higher like so. See? Let's put that there. Just, uh -oh. Let's just give it a second to dry. Then I take my amazing big punch and I'm going to punch a hole. Now I like my holes sort of at the top instead of at the centre. It's just, you know, a little bit different, that's all, to the norm where they're all. And then I'm also going to do this because of course 
I am going to do the back as well. Oh, I need to trim this here, see? To round it up. And just trim that there. Quite like that. Just make it a little bit more grungy. And you know, who's to say? <clears throat> I quite like the idea of that. Let's put something on the back. Let's do another newspaper, uh, not newspaper. This is what I'm going to do. Needle. Oops. Why not? Yeah, I like that. Yes, before I put that on, I'm just gonna grunge it up a little bit more. I'm gonna use my glue gun. And guess what I'm gonna do on there? My my glues. Let's get that out there. See, everything is congregating on, on my desk again, instead of somewhere else. So the brushed iron art alchemy wax, which I just love. I'm going to use some of the brass just to give it well, maybe I should put a bit of greenery I love you using green just to yeah it shows up I can make it heavier simple but I still think I'm going to add some rich copper to that as well. You know, if you don't have this, use pa acrylic paint and mess it up with your finger. Use whatever you have. Um, I'm just going to very quickly... I wasn't going to do the back, but hey, I landed up doing it. So a bit of my glue has stuck on here, but that is not a problem. Let's just do that. And I've got to show you, <laughs> I bought this guy the other day. I just love him so much. Look at that ostrich. I don't know if you guys have ever been lucky enough to actually stroke an ostrich's neck it is like velvet it is so soft and beautiful maybe I'm gonna put him here I just love him so I'll, I want to use him somewhere so let's um, let's use him because I mean <laughs> I think he's funny Oh, I didn't really show up. Yeah, okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because we are going to use some waxes, small waxes on here. Um, I want to use, where's my aged gold? Oh, let me use this 
de novo drops why not just to show you if you don't have waxes that you can use it as well see because I just wanted a little bit of a gold effect there see can you see that I'm probably not and you can make it darker I suppose if you want now I'm going to have to dry this So I'm going to dry it quickly. Oh, I'm shaking the camera every time. I didn't realize that. Every time I take my hair dryer because it's <laughs> it's on the the hook is on the tripod where my camera is. No, I'm not going to put it up. I hope I can edit it out. I didn't realize. Sorry about the shaky shaky. I've got, I'm just going to use my new verse. Why not? I um, just want to show you. I don't have a lot of different colors in my new Because I prefer my waxes. So let's see. There's a lot. I really didn't want to put pink out. I'm just going to use this green that I have. And I just think it needs a little bit. Let's put a bit more. Or maybe I'm going to layer, dry it and layer it. Let's, let's see what happens. Dry enough. And what if we do like so? I don't know if it's going to hold. It just creates a bit of texture. Let me dry that. probably can't see it very much on camera it just pounced it but I still want to add <laughs> some of my waxes I'm gonna add the aged bronze <clears throat> Look that on the side I'm not even testing it to see if it's dry it is dry more or less let's see yeah it does dry it's quite good but i want a bit of darkness in there no that is not working no i don't like that it's uh so i'm gonna try and use my ground espresso <clears throat> just to counter it and make it a bit darker What do you think guys? I think it's a bit better, huh? And then let's just make it a little bit darker down here. And maybe up the side. And what if I just add, you see, I think this green is too light. So you're gonna want to use a darker green. I'm just playing now. I oh, quite like that. Let's do some more, shall we? Yeah, I definitely need a darker green. I'm just going to dry it again.
I like it. Whatever has happened, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just given it, a, you know, a bit of effect. So now I'm not going to make the little tags that go inside, but just to show you. So let's put that in there. Haven't finished yet. Put that one in there and let's say we do this one here. And Bob's your uncle. Now I've got my some of my buttons are in here. So I'm gonna just stick to browns. Let's have a look. This is beautiful. I think those are too light. It's like purple. I'm not going to put that there. Yeah, I quite like. 